All right, welcome back to another Japan Book Hunter. And today I want to just go through this amazing Ed Piscor Studio Edition by Fantagraphics. I know I'm the manga guy, I usually do that, but uh, this was gifted to me by the homie Ryan Hughes. Not just a customer, but I consider you a friend now, homie. Fellow K Faber, big fan of Ed's work. I'm a big fan of Ed as a human being. And uh, let's just, you know, take a quiet little look through this bad boy. Amazing. It's huge. I mean, how do you put together a book any better than this? So one sec while I ditch the box. Amazing cover and uh, just all the raw and uncut art of the homie, Ed Piscor. Hip Hop Family Tree is so good. By the way, you know, I, I, I bought 25 of these. I donated all the money to Ed's family. I thought that's the least I can do for everything that Ed's done for me. I wasn't gonna get another run because to be honest, every time I pack one of these motherfuckers, dude, I get a little bit sad, but people keep on asking for them. So I think I'm gonna do another run, maybe 10 or 20 more, and that's gonna be it. That's about all I can handle, my friends. Of course, they're in jump format, colored pages, sick. $35 japanbookhunter.com let me see if i can get some up here in the next couple days uh press pop the publisher i'm close with so they usually get them out to me within a day or two when i order boom boom these are the pages i like you know rough sketches rough sketches of, of what it's going to be and then the finished work Hard to see down here, but I, these descriptions of each page, the commentary, amazing. It's like I can hear Ed talking in my ear. <laughs> Motherfucker like to talk, man. You like to talk comics, dude. We could sit there and talk all day, all things comics and manga. Amazing text is amazing. This retailed for 150. I don't know if you can get them anymore. I mean, again, like the homie sent this from America to me. It sits in my entryway on my display shelf. My three favorite bands growing up, Bad Brains, Dead Kennedys, and The Misfits. Hells yeah. You know, Filipino white kid from Seattle, Washington, spent junior high and high school in Spokane, Washington, you know? Not necessarily the most diverse town in the world, but skateboarding, hip hop, and punk rock was all I cared about. I was at every little punk show, I can get like all ages one that I can get into. Half of the bar shows I got into too because the homies would sneak me in, but not a lot of live hip hop. I had to go to Seattle for that. So we'd make road trips over to Seattle to see High Row, to see the alcoholics, the festivals over there. So whether you're a white kid from Pittsburgh or a quarter flip from Spokane, Washington, hip hop had a huge influence on a lot of us. One of my favorite movies ever made is Scratch. Amazing, watching DJ Shadow dig through that basement of records. God, Qbert hitting the tables. Man, just amazing. And I really just don't know what to say about this book. It's just so amazing. One thing that I really appreciate, like in today's modern culture, Ed, white boy Ed, made a definitive history of hip hop in comic book form and was recognized by some of the biggest names in hip hop for his contribution to the art. Captured it so well. Just goes to show if you love something, if you put your heart into it, people will accept it no matter who you are. I mean, shit, I'm not Japanese, but I am the master of Japanese manga, I'll tell you that much. It's all about the art, the appreciation, the respect, the passion, and the fucking grind. I'm actually shooting a YouTube video with Chris Anderson in six minutes. Probably be a little bit late. An amazing comic book artist. Go over and check out his YouTube page. 
I will be on there flipping through some of my weirdest and wildest and safe for YouTube. Dude, I saw Crushin' in the movie theater. I had the tape, I was listening to the tape all day. I went to the movie, I had my headphones on. I was in Hawaii on vacation with my family. Wild Style Wars. It's gonna be a lot of beeps and shit in the background because I got my computer up because I'm about ready to go live with the homie. But what can you do? Yeah, I'm not really breaking down the art and all that stuff because I am no Ed Piscor or Jim Rugg. I'm just a lowly collector and slanger of paper gold. Remember that, my friends. Every time you order a book off of japanbookhunter.com, I have to go to a bookshelf and find it. And I have a lot of goddamn books, man. Sometimes I'll be digging around like someone ordered like Sweet Taste, 1990s, Ero Manga. And I'm digging through 90s and 80s Ero Manga. What year was that? Was it 2000? I, I try to organize everything by year. Digging around. It takes me 10 minutes to find it. I need to be more organized. Oh shit. Drawing machinery, tanks, cars, man. Tough. Oh, and this is one of my favorite panels in here. Just the, just the dead space is amazing. Roxanne. The thing I liked about female rappers in the 80s was they were all badass. When you get into like the 90s and the two aughts, like you have to have them, they have to be like all like foxy brown, sexy and stuff. Like bon cube, bon, thick top, thick bottom, you know? But back in the 80s, it was all about the skills. Nobody cared. I mean, I guess you probably sold a little bit better if you were better looking, but man, it was all about the skills. I met Africa Bombada at Yoyogi Park. One of the kindest gentlemen I've ever met in my life. He had his whole family with him. His wife was a gem. So nice. This was about, eh, I'd say 12, 15 years ago. We were doing a skate jam and there was a live uh, hip hop festival going on at Yoyogi Park. And I was working for a record label at the time. So I had backstage and I went back. I tried to talk to Rhymester the Japanese rap crew, and those guys are so like Budo, they're like so like senpai kohai, like I'm older, you're younger, and kind of treat you like shit. Did not like that vibe. Africa Bombada, he's like, gave me a gave me a, a dap and was like, yo man, thanks for coming out, and like, how you, how's your trip? We talked about what he'd been eating, like the fun that him and his family had been having. Just a true gem of a human being. Loved it. One of the highlights of my music career endeavors. And again, splash pages are sick. Oh, which one do I like more? I mean, you gotta go with the track suits. More fat boys. And this is the stuff I like, like straight up character, character drawings. I mean, like each person Ed looked up, referenced, drew, Drew again, drew again, drew again, until he got it right, you know? The man was a perfectionist. Remember my fine friends, japanbookhunter.com is where I sell my books. Japan Book Hunter on Instagram is where I sell the rare and wild stuff that doesn't go up on the website because a lot of it's like, I'm not gonna get it again. If I'm posting up there, it's probably something that you should be interested in. Love the grand design. Japan Book Hunter on TikTok, here on YouTube, and we have a Discord. Hit that YouTube little Discord thingy mobile up in the banner. You get an invite and you can come join our Discord group. I try to, I mean, to be honest, like I haven't been in there the way I should be in there. I have a nice crew of people in there holding it down. You have questions, get in that Discord, people will, you know, they'll hook you up with info and stuff, but uh, I'm trying to get in there more people. And that, my fine friends, is Ed Piscor Studio Edition. Big brick of a book that I will cherish for the rest of my life. R.I.P. Ed, love you to death, homie. I know you're looking down on us all right now saying, grind, grind, grind. So no matter what you do out that, 
out there in the world, people. Do it well. And until next time, matane. Thank you.